Welcome to the video I've cheekily called Sharks of Dubai. So you'll all have clicked on and think I'm in the wild diving with sharks. Well, I'm not. I'm sorry. It's an aquarium dive. The reason you know I did the aquarium dive, I, I wanted to really try the Paralens Akita in clear water conditions. And there is another video coming up on that. The footage in this video is a combination of GoPro and Vaquita and I'm not telling you which is which because this is just a nice dive in an aquarium with some large marine life. And before you, we start to look at it, I'll just tell you where I come from on, on aquariums. I will say this in every video that I take if I, when I dive with captive marine life is, you know, we need them at the moment. I don't agree with any wildlife being kept in ca captivity, but unfortunately, us, mankind, are not protecting wildlife and in particular we're not protecting enough the marine life so a lot of these aquariums and wildlife parks that they do a lot of good in understanding wildlife they do a lot of good in saving wildlife captive breeding programs so until such time as we um, man can guarantee the survival of the species that we're you know, eradicating virtually on a daily basis I support them and they're not a bad thing. When it comes to the time that there's plentiful marine life and wildlife again, and I'm not sure if that will happen, it definitely won't happen in my lifetime, then I'll be the first guy to say close them all down. But for now, I believe they do a very good public service. Um, they let the public be aware of, of what's un under the water. I mean, you just walk around some of these big aquariums in the world and you see sharks in with divers and they're not biting them and that just says to the general public sharks are not dangerous which is a good thing so anyway enjoy the video I'll talk you through I really enjoyed it I'm now I think they call it a paddy specialty aquarium diver I feel really proud about that you know I learned to dive in 1982 and now I'm allowed and qualified to dive in an aquarium I was given a challenge by Critter Hunter to go and find some guitar fish, which you can see just there. I knew he meant to go to this aquarium in Dubai, but I did find some in the wild, which you did see in the highlights video. Well, I didn't find them, my friend did. But I thought, let me go and, and dive the aquarium and let's see what it's got to offer. And it didn't disappoint. Um, I, I shot this footage with the Paralens Paquita and a couple of GoPros but this was just a, a kind of a, a fun video and I've called it Close Encounters with the Sharks of Dubai. Unfortunately we don't see sharks very often on the Dubai coast. I think I've seen one since I've been here. Um, on, the other, on the east coast we see uh, more sharks but not big ones. So this was a really nice relaxing dive. Easy to do um, and as you'll see um, the rays and the sharks come in close. In fact, on the, you have to duck out of the way sometime. This is a, a zebra shark, called a zebra shark because when it's young, it has stripes. This is a sand tiger or ragged tooth shark. And really, for you know, I'm quite an experienced diver, but I think this is a, a really good experience for people who've not got so much experience to learn how to interact with big marine life. Lots of rays in the aquarium. You just saw there a, a, a leopard whiptail ray. There's um, the wobbly gong shark. That's an Australian type shark. So really, for an educational experience, I think it's, it's pretty good. And just look at the people there um, looking at the sharks, looking at us. Um, and for me, as I mentioned, there's a nurse shark just flying through. As I mentioned earlier, I mean, I'm okay with aquariums while the marine world's still in trouble. As long as the marine life's treated well and as long as it educates people and gives back to conservation. Um, these golden trevallis, they're all muscling in on the act. Look at them. <laughs> supposed to be a shark dive, guys. Get out of the way. 
So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm now a Paddy uh, Aquarium specialty diver, apparently. We've got some merch at last on, on Teespring. And um, the reason I set it up was to don donate um, funds to the Seahorse Trust from my Seahorse collection and for the, the lovers of the Coronet Yacht. There's shirts there for you as well. Hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't a freebie. I did pay for it. It was quite expensive. Was it worth the money? Yes, it was worth every penny. And that's why I just made this video. I didn't do any comparisons between the two. The two. I had three cameras going, two GoPros and the Vaquita, and I just enjoyed it. So I thought, yeah, let's just share it with my viewers. I do have another video coming up very shortly. Um, it's just in post-production where it's just on the Vaquita and the quality of the images I got with the Vaquita and you know a couple of I wouldn't call them issues uh, just one thing you need to be aware of but I'm not telling you that now you've got to watch that video so until next time thanks for watching please subscribe hit the like button I'm sure some people are going to give me a thumbs down because it's in an aquarium I'm cool with that uh, I haven't got an issue I did explain at the start you know my position but anyway thank you for, again for watching and we'll see you next time